Yo, 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 how you doing? How you doing? Welcome to this tutorial where you'll be learning how to create a sleeve for your character. As you can see here, I've done that for this character. It's a football character for animation that I was um, working on recently. And um, yeah, you can make the sleeve as long or as short as you want, any color. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So as you can see, I created this whole character using Limbo, apart from the torso, I believe. But um, anyway, let's go and have a look at the mechanics behind it. Yeah, so basically these are the original two layers that I used. Um, if you want to learn more about that, I'd suggest you check the Limbo website itself. They're pretty good on showing you how to do this and it's pretty simple. And um, these are the circles I used to get the perfect joints. And um, yeah, so and these are the two layers I use. This is the upper arm. There we go. This one here is the lower arm, and this one here is the upper arm, as you can see. And both of them together create a hand, right? Using the circles as shown below. So let's go ahead and um, have a look at how we can actually create the sleeves. So once you've done that, these this is basically the layer that you're gonna get these three here. Let me just solo them for you. So you're gonna end up with something like this, and um, let's zoom in on this. Uh, whoa, even bigger, even bigger. There we go. And you can see how the whole thing comes together if you go into the arm layer itself. So if we, this is the upper arm section, and the lower arm section, sorry. And this one here is the upper arm section, right? So the sleeve is actually on the upper arm section. So if we open it up, uh, we're gonna see here, these are the two shapes that make the arm section. So this is the one that I created. So this is originally what we look like once you make it, right? So let me just delete this one. And let's start from scratch. So what you wanna do is duplicate the, the shape layer itself, the, the upper arm shape layer. And uh, let's call the sleeve. And then we can open it up and go into the uh, let's change the actually we could change the color layer let's go into the path layers and um, what we want to do is where you want the sleeve to start or um, well, where you want the sleeve to end you put two points there so for example the one i did was um, i wanted it to end sort of about here which is where it's football um t-shirts run about sleeves end and make sure try and make it as um straight as possible to that one and so basically all you're gonna need is the upper um, part here so you don't wanna you don't need the rest so you can go ahead and delete for example the this one here this one here and I think the last one is this one here right so um let's change the color so that we can actually see what it is we're doing not stroke let's go to fill this is the original color let's make it um let's say blue there we go look at that nice chelsea color there if you're anyone's a chelsea fan or any other team that wears blue um so you can move the wrist layer and you have a sleeve that already moves a bit there you go wow, same kind of movement right um and no matter what you do how you move the hand the sleeve's gonna move to it um, just like it's um, another layer that was originally there so like I said you can change the color hair you can add a stroke to it if you want oh and another good thing about doing it this way I'll show you is basically if you grab the pen to uh, there we go hold the open Mac I'm not sure exactly what that is on the window if you click on any one of these points here the two points Here's something very important to remember. You never need to touch this upper one here, right? Because it needs to align with the original shape. This upper one as well, never need to touch it. What you wanna do is grab this one here. I'm using a pen to an alt, and then you can move it around to change the shape to any shape that you wanted to. So something like that. Or him to give it a bit more perspective if the camera's looking up or if the camera's, uh, the character's higher, you can hold this and point it up. 
up and they basically like the character you're looking up at the character's handle or something like that but that's the good thing about this oh for most times i'd imagine you'd want to keep it straight like that oh your car there you go i think most times you're gonna want to keep it like so that. that's a quick tutorial well i think that's a quick tutorial on how you can create and customize sleeves using limba um i hope you enjoyed that tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe please who do me a lot of good um have a blessed day and see you soon take care bye bye bye